guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Funko Pop Tightly, and favourite time of the month. It's come around really quickly this time, actually. Pop in a box again. Um, so, just to do a quick overview for those of you who, I don't know, <laughs> live under a rock somewhere and don't know what pop in a box is. You form up, you form down, what you like, what you don't like, different subscriptions you can go for. I'm currently doing a free pop movie subscription. I did fantastically well last month, I um, ended up with free rides or movie moments well above the value of what I paid. £26.99 I'm paying, free pops. Um, I've been quite brutal with what I've been forming up and forming down. I did a couple of new ones this month, just off the common range, but mainly it's been exclusive, movie moments, rides. Boxes, relative size. Let's cut the chaff and let's just get straight into it and see what's what. So I'll do the usual awkward opening, try and make it so that you see when I see, and we'll see what's what. I mean, I've done really well at popping box recently. As you know, I've won the Instagram competition really well last month. So I'm a big fan of this website. I know some people hit and miss with it, but for me, it's quite good. So feeling in here, we've got one big one, two small ones. So we'll go with the small one first, and it is. It's one of the ones, the commons that I thumbed up. It's Ghostbusters Ray Stance. I thumbed this one up because I got the movie moment that's got Spengler and Bankman in and I kind of just want to get the four Ghostbusters but in that kind of way with me being an outer boxer I thought I'd do it that way and the stance one's really cool with the goggles and the trap because um, I've had to change the setup slightly for just a random reason what I shall do for the outer boxes which I, I like to do I'll do a cutaway and show you what they look like out of the box Okay, so despite what I said, the spinner is not playing ball, so this might be a better way of doing it anyway. So there's your stance, he's got your night vision goggles on the top. Nice detail there, a bit of a wrinkle on his head, like a worried line more than a wrinkle actually, probably. Coming down, stance on his uniform. He's got the, I want to say the ghost catcher, I can't remember what it's called. His walkie talkie on. And the gloves are really cool, they've got a really like, good sheen to them in his boots and then if we turn him round he's got his trusty proton pack on so he's super cool yeah, happy with him let's head back and see what else I got so that's the first one that's Ray it's weird because I've just done a cut away to out of the box and he's now back in the box but you get it. it's not like movie magic is it? it's not like I'm creating the matrix or something Second one then, potentially this could be a theme, and it is, it's another common, I'm not complaining, it's, again, I wanted it, it's Zedmore from Ghostbusters range, so that's my set now, complete for them, so I'm happy with that, ones I wanted, same again, let's get him out, get him on the spin up, here's Zedmore, he has got his proton pack, but he's also got the, the gun from the proton, they have been easy for him to be lazy and just use the same head for these, because obviously he's got the gloves, the boots, He's cool, he's even got like cornrow hair, which is just excellent. They've put that little bit of extra effort in. Really cool with his moustache, said more there. He's got some sort of Geiger counter there, down to his boots. And then we'll spin him round. And yeah, put it on pack again. Super cool. And then I don't think I mentioned it on the stance one, but they've got the the Ghostbusters on the arm. You see how small that is, the detail's really good. So, super cool. I look forward to getting a picture of all these together. That'll probably be over on the Instagram at some point if you want to head over there and have a look. But until then, one more to go. Let's go and open up the last one. Yeah, really cool pop. So there'll be those two and they're going to go with the movie moment. Again, I still haven't, I've got to get them out on display. I've got to do a bit of rejigging again. So, happy with them two. Commons, but what they've worked out at, nine pound each. That's what they read, well, they retail for more than that, so. It's a good start. And then, the final one is a big one. We've got, oh, okay, brilliant. I have got the shark from Jaws, and it's the one, holding the gas tank. So I've already got a Quint, 
so I thumbed up this one just to have the shot. Now I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, if I see them on sale, I'll probably get Hopper and Brody as well. Just to have a set for those. But he is super cool. Can't really get this one on the spinner because of the size of it. So I shall get this one out of the box now. You can have a look at this now. So I know there's two variations on commons on this one, which is this one. And I'll show you on the box just quickly. It's just a standard great white shark. I went for this one because of having Quinn as for it's quite cool. And again, it's just, that's the same backdrop you get in the smaller boxes, but that would be quite cool actually to have when I display them, if I can get that and Quinn, if I get the other ones. So that's a nice addition again. It's damaged though, and that's from inside the box, which is weird. Because the box looks, yeah, it's a little bit of a ding there. I mean, that is where I know people get annoyed with popping a box is stuff doesn't always arrive perfectly and that is that's the bubble wrap I've got and a punctured bag so have got any more one bag that's still intact so it's not the best packaging but I'm an out of box so, so I can kind of I can kind of live with that but I mean, it's a good size to that so obviously that's from right near the end of the film where Chief Brody puts that out and then obviously explodes it. But he's super cool. He feels different to normal pops. That might sound strange. I can't exactly say what he feels like, but more, I don't know, these pots feel more plasticky than, than the plastic. I, it just sounds nonsense. They feel different anyway. But it's got a good definition, good markings there from obviously where he's been attacked during the film. He's got his gills. He probably would have gone on the spinner to be fair, but I've done this now, so. That's quite cool, I like that angle of him actually, it's cool. But there you go. So that's my free for this month. Ghostbusters and Jaws, classic 80s films. I'm saying 80s, I'm sure Jaws is 70s, now I think about it. Why would it say it on here? I've got last track again. So, if you want to do a pop in a box sub and you don't currently, there's always a link in description to all my videos for 20% off your first sub. I recommend it, I think it's great. If you can take the time to sit there and do the thumb up, thumb down, I get what I want almost all the time. It was only, I'm going back quite a while ago where I just thought, oh, they, I think it was the black, one of the Black Friday 40% discounts and I did a full 12 pop box. It ended up being about 50 pounds and I got some awful pops, but that was my fault. I didn't thumb up, thumb down. If you follow the process of what they want you to do, you can end up with some great stuff. So if you don't do it already, I would definitely say take the gamble, but it's not a gamble. This is retails, I think this is 20 pounds on the side. They both are 10 pounds on the side, so there's 40 pounds worth of stuff for 26 pound 99, and all pops that I wanted, so I've got no qualms with it. 10% off the site, you get the exclusives. It's happy days, so let me know in the comments what you think of this sort of anyway. Like I said, it's one I've changed to movies as opposed to Marvel. I may go to Star Wars in a few months when The Rise of Skull comes out just to get some of the comments from that and do it that way. Um, as always, if you are not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You might like what I'm doing. If you're not, you can always <laughs> go <laughs> not subscribe anymore. Till the next one, guys. Uh, like, comment, share, and I'll see you soon. Bye now, bye.